Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video what I want to do is I want to start making this little menu bar at the bottom and first thing I notice is you see this little status bar that tells you where the links pointing to that's not an issue because remember this website is only going to display on mobile devices and first of all mobile devices they can't tell whenever you're hovering over a link like your phone can't tell whenever you're hovering your finger over the screen and also even if they could mobile browsers don't have that little status bar on bottom so that's never going to display it's just because we're testing it on a browser now of course as you can see it's made up of five different buttons kind of like an Instagram -y, um menu and you probably can't tell right now because the backgrounds kinda dark but this is also semi transparent so whenever you scroll like through your stream or just look at some text you're gonna see a cool effect that this is semi transparent looks like it's kinda built in and there's also an indicator of the current page that you're on so since we're on the home page that button would be completely um, opaque and there's also this thin red line on the bottom that is just an indicator of what page you're on pretty cool feature so now that we dissected it let's go ahead and start building it so the first thing I want to do is actually add just comment bottom menu and I like to do that for all the um, core features and that's just so when I'm scrolling through I can easily say okay look for the green stuff and I don't know it just helps me now I guess I might as well talk to you guys about this this bottom menu right here is actually an unordered list so normally you think a list like um, a grocery list with text a bunch on top of each other but this is actually a list and it has five list items inside it so just remember that because this bottom menu class is going to be applied to the entire list the entire menu on the bottom so the first thing we want to do is we want to give it a font size now even though we don't have any font displaying on it just images right now some of you guys may want some I don't know you may want like a back button or um, I don't know font on it <laughs> whatever the, whatever font you want to put on it so it's always good to have font just in, in case you decide to change things up later now also another thing we want to do is whenever we have long web pages like a stream we don't want to scroll up and this menu scrolls up with it we want it to stay on bottom even if we're scrolling through our website so how do we make this menu stick to the bottom well it's actually really easy the first thing we need to do is set bottom zero and also I'll show you guys <laughs> This, this has nothing to do with the tutorial but uh, I saw um, on the internet someone they made a class called Titanic and they called they said float num or none and they put bottom zero and uh, again I just thought it was pretty funny because Titanic float don't flow bottom zero I don't know <clears throat> anyways moving on alright so to make something stick to the bottom give it a position of bottom zero that means Where's this element going to be? Zero from zero pixels from the bottom. Now also, the position is fixed since we don't want it moving around. And also, the width of this entire menu is going to be 100%. Now this is a responsive element. It pretty much means no matter how much you shrink or you grow the screen, the entire width of the menu takes up the entire width the entire width takes up the entire width now eh, you guys know what I mean alright so those are the properties for the entire menu so now what I want to do is I want to start applying the styling for each individual button now each individual button is of course a list item since this is indeed an unordered list but it's also a link and we need to make it a link because when we click it for example when we click this button it takes you to your profile so that's why we need to make it a link so what I am going to do whenever I develop this is I, I want to say okay in the bottom menu whenever we have an unordered list which is actually the menu and we have a link and list item this is how we refer to a button so if anything has the class bottom menu and it's a link and a list item which is pretty much a button these are the styles that we want to apply to it first of all color white 
and what this means is any text on it is going to be white since the menu is dark white shows up the easiest text decoration none and this is just so by default um, every link gets underlined and we don't want our links underlined just because they'll look weird float left and that is pretty much so every button can appear stacked to the left of each other instead of having a menu that's stacked on top of each other which will look also weird list style none and again by default an owner under list has a bullet on the left hand side of each item so we just want to make sure that we don't have those bullets so that's why um, list style none means no weird symbols now the width this is where things get kind of we have to use our math skills a little bit now the entire width of this is 100 percent we already know that now we have five buttons one two three four five so this means that the width of each button has to be 20%, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Now, as you can see, I have this width at 16.8%. Now, this would look weird, but instead what we're going to do is we're going to give it a padding of 1.6%. So, of course, the padding means the space on the left and the right-hand side, also the top and bottom. but when we have a padding of 1.6 on the left and the right, that means we have a total X padding of 3.2. So 3.2 plus 16.8, that gives us 20% for each individual button. So whenever we do this, again, this is the total width of 20%, and that way we can have five buttons that fit perfectly in our unordered list or the menu on bottom. Now also what I want to do is I want to give a height of 100% and this is just so the buttons um, I don't know appear correctly I guess that's the easiest way to explain it now for the background wow messed that up for the background color I'm just gonna set it as black and I also want to give it an opacity of let me just give this one 0 0.5 um, for my real website it would be like 0.75 probably but I want to demonstrate that by default they're transparent so I kind of want to make that a little more than normal so the last thing I want to do is this for the border bottom by default I'm just going to give it a border of two pixels solid black now the reason that I want to give it a default border of black is because whenever we have an active button which means that's the page you're on we're gonna give it a bottom border of red now if we just didn't apply any border to these other buttons what would happen is this button would be a different size than these ones so I need to give them some border so they're all the same size as the active one so again give it a default border of black and we can change that to red whenever um, one of them is active so now what I want to do is this I want to make another CSS element just like this but this one is gonna have the class selected so whenever we apply the class selected to one of these buttons it means that this button should be active in other words we're just gonna say make it completely opaque so no transparency or opacity at all and add that red border on bottom so this is gonna be like the easiest thing we ever did just set opacity to 1 so it changes from 50 to 1 and also let me just copy this 2 pixels solid and this is actually the red color that I use on my website give myself some space to work with so now whenever we have anything with a class selected those are the styles that apply to it now the only other thing that I want to do is this actually let me just copy this right here as you can see we have images inside every button so we need to add styling to make sure that those images appear correctly so what we're gonna do is for each list item 
whenever you have an image inside it, this is how we want to display the image. I want to display it as a max height of 1.6 EM. And again, this is all just personal preference. How big do you want the buttons to appear on the bottom? I know that 1.6 EM means that the image is going to be about one and a half times higher, 1.6 to be exactly, as tall as normal font. So that way it makes your buttons clickable considering all the padding and everything else. Now aside from that, I also want to give it a pa la la la, padding top of 0 0.15 EM. Now again, this is just personal preference. If you ever are testing this on a mobile device and you're like, okay, my buttons are way too small, this is one of the things that you can change to make them a little more clickable. But for right now, um, you know, I don't want them too big or else they'll be buttoned up against the edges. I don't want them too small or else the user isn't going to be to, to be able to distinguish what the heck they are. So that's a nice little median. So for right now, this is our bottom menu. And of course, it won't display whenever we refresh it because we don't have any HTML. So in the next sorrel, what I'm going to do is we're going to start typing in that HTML. But for now, we got all our CSS taken care of. Thank you guys for watching, and well, I'll see you later.